What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple blood screen effect when we basically get hit. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. So the first thing that we're going to do is basically get our blood effect image. Now it will need to be a PNG so it can have uh, some transparency in it so you can see here with the alpha channel how the transparency will affect it so later on we can basically plug it in in a widget and make a nice animation so we can smoothly fade from uh, you know basically being invisible to just getting hit and then again back into not being visible but with a nice transition so I will not be making a whole health system in this video I do have a tutorial on that so I will be linking it in the description just in case you want to check it out so Let's go ahead and just go and create a new uh, user interface widget blueprint. It's going to be a normal user widget. So it's going to be something as um, WB uh, blood effect. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And what we're going to do is add a canvas into our widget. Let's go ahead and drag it into the hierarchy. So now we can basically place things on our widget. So the first thing we're going to add is just an image into here. I'm going to basically make it cover the whole of the screen. So to do this, we can just put the anchors on all the separate corners just by clicking here and select the expand and then setting the offset to be zero, zero, and then offset right zero and then offset button zero. So basically all the offsets to be zero. So now what we can do is go into the brush and just select the image that we have uh, on our blood system. So you can see that is there. Now I have chosen one that is very ugly, <laughs> you know, the quality is, it isn't the best one, but I think it would do for now. Now what I'm going to do is just set the uh, opacity, the alpha to by default be a bit um, less because less visible basically because I think it's too visible. So I'm going to put it something as 0 0.3, so 0.3, 0.35, something like that. And then um, we're going to do just expand it a bit on the sides because it's taking up too much of the screen. So I'm going to just make it so that it doesn't occupy a lot of the screen. So something like this will do the job. Okay, so now let's go ahead and quickly make a small animation so that basically when we get hit, it just doesn't appear on the screen and then go at this second after. It, there's a uh, nice smoothly uh, opacity change. So what we're going to do is go into window and get our animations tab to be on button. So we're going to rename this image in the hierarchy to um, blood image. That's a bit better named. And just go ahead and click the new animation. It's going to be um, get hit, for example. And we're going to go ahead and select it. And then we're going to press uh, plus on the track. And we're going to just add the blood image. So this will be our blood image. So basically, what we're going to do is that it will start on an opacity of well, an alpha of zero, and then it will end up on a on a alpha of 0.35 in the middle, and then at the end it will go back into zero. So I'm gonna copy this value to just remember it, and then what we're going to do is start on the zero zero zero, and basically just go into the color on opacity, and put it into zero, and then. On here, you're gonna press add keyframe for this property. So it will add a keyframe on the current settings on the color and opacity. Then we'll go a bit forward, like for example, 0.50. And then we'll go ahead and open this, put it as 0.35, so it's as the maximum they want to see. And actually, I'm gonna change my mind, actually increase it a bit more. So 0.5, yeah, whatever, like this is gonna be okay. And then we can add another keyframe. And now we can go ahead and go back again, like into here and open up the uh, properties, set the alpha back to zero, and then just add another keyframe. So now if we go ahead and play this, you can see that we have a nice um, kind of appearing effect. So when we get hit, now it has to be much faster. So what we're going to do is just put this a bit in front. So it's a bit, a bit faster, even maybe faster. So I guess this cool feeling. Now, of course, I'm using a very ugly you know, uh, a blood effect, but if you were to use a bit one, you know, one that's a bit more better made, not just from Google, it will definitely look a bit better. So we can now compile and save this and just go into our third person map. And we're going to just go into my 
um, third person blueprint character. Of course, you can use whatever character you want. I'm just gonna find a spot over here. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm not gonna be making a health system because I do already have a tutorial on that. So I will, again, will be limited in the description just if you want to check it out and then in the event hit, you can just integrate it. But basically what we're gonna to do is just um, basically create an event and a damage. So when we go ahead and receive damage, we want to just play this animation. So uh, to do this, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new widget. So what we're going to do is create a widget. There we go. Create widget. And then the class is going to be the one that we created. So um, it basically was blood effect. So they go WB blood effect. The only player is going to be get player controller. It's going to be us. And then the return value, what we can do is right click and promote it into a variable. So this will be our blood hit widget so we later can reference it again and then what we're going to do is just add this into a viewport so it will just appear basically on our screen now we don't want to create a new uh widget every time we get hit because if we already have one created we want to reuse that one so what we're going to do is get the blood hit widget variable and then get it and then right click and convert it into a validated get so what we can do is just if it's not valid so the variable is basically empty we can create a new widget but if it's already is a valid so basically we already have created this widget what we can do is just play the animation so to be able to play an animation from the blueprint what we're going to do is go back into the widget and then we're going to go into the graph over here so we're going to go ahead and delete all of this I'm gonna go ahead and create a new custom event. It's gonna be play hit animation, for example. So then we'll call this from the blueprint when we want to play the animation. So now what we can do is see here all the animations that we have. And we can see that we have get hit animation, which is the one that we basically done on here. So it's as simple as just getting the get hit and then you're saying play animation. And that's it. We don't have to change any parameters of course it won't change you know i don't know the starting time or something like that or the playback speed you can do so but i do recommend changing that from like the animation itself but yeah now we can compile and save and go back in a third person character and then we're going to just get the uh widget and you say and um, play hit animation basically call the fun uh, the custom event that we have just created and then we can do so again over here so let's go ahead and copy this and at the end just paste it over here so now if we compile and save we have to do one more thing and it's basically call this event of course if you follow my health uh, system tutorial if you just plug this in at the end it will already work but because i don't have a health system right now set it up i'm gonna make it that for example if i press a specific key i would just you know do damage to myself just to try it out so for example the b key and so just gonna say um, apply damage and then the damage actor i can just say it's gonna be uh self so basically ourselves and then i'm just gonna make for example one of damage it doesn't really matter but there we go so now we can compile and save and now if we press play and i go ahead and press the b you will see that the uh image effect does happen and it looks really cool so this will happen every time that we actually get hit now, if you want to change a bit of how the um, the opacity will look, you can just go ahead and edit over here. Just change a bit of the opacity, basically increase it a bit, and then over, uh, just delete the keyframe. And then again, change the opacity a bit more. And then you can just add again the keyframe, and it will be back to normal. But now it might be a bit more visible. So it's basically how you decide you want it to look. But yeah guys, that was the tutorial, and if you enjoyed it found helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. Check out the links in the description for awesome Unreal Engine courses, and check out my Steam game also. And with all said, bye bye.